Valiant viewers, this is Healthy Living on Supreme Master Television. Today, we are honored to feature Mike Anderson, author of the book, The Rave Diet and Lifestyle, on our program. The term RAVE is an acronym which stands for No Refined Foods, No Animal Foods, No Vegetable Oils, and No Exceptions, and Exercise. He is also the producer of three superb films on health and eating, Healing Cancer from Inside Out, Eight Minutes, and Eating. Mr. Anderson's works examine the overwhelming evidence that following a plant-based diet leads to a life of overall excellent health. Let us now hear how Mike Anderson draws the connection between diet and health. We assume we know more about health and nutrition now than we did back in the 1800s. Yet people living back then did not die because of what they ate. Before 1900, heart disease, our biggest killer, wasn't even included in medical textbooks. And cancer, diabetes, arthritis, and our other major diseases were rare and confined to the wealthy, who ate like most Americans eat today. People back then did not die of our current diseases because their eating habits were very different. Bread, potatoes, corn, oats, rye, barley meals, beans, and other vegetables, fruits, and whole grains were the major foods in their diets. But during the 20th century, everything changed. As animal foods became more affordable, Americans switched from their plant-based diets to animal-based diets. This triggered the biggest dietary change in human history and ushered in a new era of eating-related diseases. By the middle of the century, Americans were suddenly dying of heart attacks, and cancer had all the earmarks of an epidemic in the making. In the last half of the century, we doubled our meat consumption, until the average American was eating more meat than they weighed, 225 pounds of meat every year. Mr. Anderson says that the cause of cancers and other diseases is not a mystery. We're um, essentially overburdening our body with too much stuff. I mean, saturated fat, for example, aside from the cholesterol you eat, saturated fat stimulates the liver to produce more cholesterol. The liver will produce the, all the cholesterol we need on its own. We get a little bit of saturated fat from plant foods, and that's all you need. Uh, but anyway, it's all this cholesterol clogging up our arteries and cutting off the blood supply. If you look at the fundamental reason why we have our common cancers, it's because of restricted flow of blood. They've proven it recently with Alzheimer's. If you look at the very, very foundation, it's our blood vessels being clogged up. Uh, the inability to get nutrients uh, from cells and exchange and get cellular waste out of there. And we've got pockets of cellular sewers, so to speak, uh, building, building up. That, that's one reason for cancers and cells mutating. Mr. Anderson next gives insights on the development of his documentary, Eating. After two years of research, I put together a video called Eating. And that documents this. I, I interview doctors from the Cleveland C Clinic Foundation, uh, Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn, for example. And he had a, another doctor who had a, a very bad uh, occlusion in his heart, and he reversed his heart disease as well. Interview Ruth Heydrich. She's a, a marathon runner. She had got breast cancer. She reversed it through diet. And I thought, well, maybe I would affect 50 people. And yeah, I, I didn't know what would happen. I just went out. I, I was giving it to friends, and then I put it on the web, and some people actually started to buy it, and now it, we figure over 20 million people have seen it worldwide. That's quite now, impressive. It, it's got a wide, wide exposure, and it's stronger now than ever. Then uh, a friend in Florida really uh, wanted me to uh, do something on cancer, and I did, uh, and so I produced a, a film called uh, Healing Cancer from Inside Out. Mike Anderson reveals that the human body has an innate healing ability. The human body is a miracle. 
and it's constantly trying to heal itself from the wounds inflicted on it by an animal-based eating habit. In fact, the whole point of the RAVE diet is to go back to the fundamental foods our bodies evolved with in order to give our bodies a chance to heal themselves. Because the best doctor on the planet is still right inside all of us. When you change your diet and lifestyle, it affects your entire body. You're clearing up heart disease, you're clearing up cancers, you're clearing up all kinds of things. So this is why people feel wonderful after. And I have received just amazing emails from people and that keeps me going. So the reaction's been very good and it's more and more positive with time. It's just like global warming's become a big deal. I was preaching that a long time ago and now, well, Al Gore and a lot of you know, Nobel Prize winning scientists are, are backing it and, uh, and that boils down a big, big factor in global warming with the methane has to do with what we eat. We'll pause for a moment for some brief messages. You're watching Healthy Living on Supreme Master Television. R-A-V-E means no refined foods, no animal foods, no vegetable oils, no exceptions, and exercise. Welcome back to Healthy Living for our discussion with author and film producer Mike Anderson on how our dietary choices are crucial to preventing and reversing illnesses. Mr. Anderson is author of a book called The Rave Diet and Lifestyle which describes how to maintain a plant-based, whole foods diet to avoid the major chronic diseases that afflict so many around the world. Mr. Anderson has also produced a documentary called Eating, which calls on people to adopt a vegan, meaning an animal-free diet, to protect their health and our precious planet. It all starts with one person. And if enough people change their diets, our modern eating habit can be transformed into something we can all be proud of that not only benefits our bodies, but the world we live in. It is very easy to demonstrate the physical differences in our bodies after we switch to a vegan diet. I say try the diet in the, in the book, Rave Diet and Lifestyle. I have got one little short chapter, Countering Skepticism, and I have some baseline measurements. I say, get your blood work done before you start the diet. Then get on the diet, even after a month, but preferably a couple months. Get your blood work done again and see the difference. It'll, it'll shock you. The cholesterols will go down, the triglycerides, all, all of that stuff is going to go down in your blood work. And, and to me, that's proof. People are just amazed. Just simple nutritional changes can achieve these spectacular results. Mr. Anderson addressed the suitability of the RAVE diet for children and pregnant women. Yeah, it, it works for everyone. People are very conscious of this folic acid uh, for pregnant women. That's very, very important for the baby's development. And what you need to do is get your folic acid from greens, real whole foods because it, whenever they create a vitamin or a supplement or so, something, it's an isolate. It's isolated. It's an isolated ingredient from the complex things that go on in nature that we don't even know about. And one of the, one of the things we found too in a very limited way is that all these nutrients, they work together and we don't really understand it. We've, we take one or two or three or four or five variables and that's about the maximum we can handle and see how they interact. But we have found that, uh, say, vitamin B, for example, will interact with vitamin C in a certain way. And other vitamins, I mean, we're talking tens of thousands of combinations, hundreds of thousands when they get into your body. And they interact in a logarithmic way that's very effective, much more effective when they're together than when they're isolated. 
And so whenever you get supplements, I'm very skeptical of them, and except in short-term use for a disease, if you're fighting a disease, for example. Long-term use, there's just so much evidence that supplements do harm, unless they're a multivitamin, real low dose, something like that. So yeah, for pregnant women, it's, 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 it's great. There's a lot of vegan women out there with healthy kids, and there's no problem. There has been for, for ages throughout our history. Our health is in our hands, and it is up to each and every one of us to consider carefully what we choose to eat. The body's ability to heal itself is immense. It's absolutely immense, and I've got so much evidence I've accumulated over the years from other people. I didn't see them in the office. I just gave them simple dietary advice in detail, but ultimately simple advice, and they have cured all of these diseases across the board. I mean, we're talking about autoimmune diseases as well, lupus, for example. The body's a powerful thing. We're destroying it. We're destroying it uh, with the foods we eat. If people would only take control of their own health, follow a good diet. Mine's not the only one, one out there. I, uh, my website is full of other diets you can follow. They're all basically the same with some, some twists. If people would only take charge of their health, they could, they could do more for themselves than, than all the medical and health plans we have today. A very special thanks to Mike Anderson for taking time out of his busy schedule to speak with us about the Rave Diet. May his message of well-being spread far and wide. Friendly viewers, we enjoyed your company during this episode of Healthy Living. Science and Spirituality is up next after Noteworthy News here on Supreme Master Television. May you always enjoy the best of health.